But Rafe Heidel Manku is here right now because Rafe was here yesterday with us, a broadcaster and commentator, uh, helping us look through the papers. But he put out some very interesting information a couple of days ago, and we wanted to get him back on to talk about it because this is the proof of what immigration has done to not only this country but to the whole of Europe. And these are data that have been collected by the Office for Budget Responsibility. So this has kind of crept out under the wire. Nobody's really looked at it, so we thought we should look at it and have a look at exactly just how uh, immigration has affected this great nation of ours. Uh, Ray, for very good morning to you. Good morning to you, Mike. Great to be with back. Not at all. Um, I'm just looking again at the tweet you put out the other day. Um, uh, damning proof, it says, of how Labour and the Tories blithely stacked up Britain's funeral pyre. And just, I mean, there's a lot more detail than, than just this top line. But three-fifths of migrants are now low-wage earners, badly damaging the economy. And by the time they've reached the age of 81, uh, they will have cost taxpayers £465,000 each. Yeah, I mean, this is, in my opinion, the biggest story of the year. Right. And the fact that, you know, it's not getting major news coverage, I think, just shows you the degree to which our mainstream media has itself become, you know, ideologically captured in this whole belief that migration is the un 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 unalloyed good and uh, the media simply isn't fit for purpose. And I say that because this, as you said, is official confirmation from the government's fiscal was watchdog, the OBR. Right. And even they try to massage the figures to make the impact look not so bad as it really is. But what even they've had to concede by, with this data is that the British people have been betrayed and lied to for years by a generation of politicians, both on the left and on the right, who told us that the mass immigration we've experienced was an economic necessity. And instead, what we now see, of course, is that... In fact, it's been an economic catastrophe. Mm. What we're talking about is the sort of mass, low-skilled immigration to which Britain has been subjected. As you said, three-fifths of migrants uh, become a, a, a net drain on the economy from the very moment that they set foot on British soil. And as you say, by the time they're 81, they cost the British taxpayer £465,000 each, and that does not include their dependents. So it's actually a lot more than that. Mm. And yet, despite all of this, I mean, most British people have really had an understanding that the economic arguments were false. But yet for decades, the politicians, the civil servants and their friends in the media have propagandized the benefits of immigration. And anybody who dared to question this disastrous ideology was discredited, was demonized, was called beyond the pale. Mm. And we were told, for example, that, you know, that mass immigration, oh, well, it's vital because we need to bring in those foreign doctors, those scientists, those engineers, the other high-skilled professionals, and the trade-offs for all of that. Well, you know, yes, your neighbourhoods are deteriorating. Yes, if you're in the north of England, of course, and you've got abhorrent cultural practices being imported to this country, you know, social cohesion is being frayed, uh, society is becoming segregated. Well, those are all unfortunate but necessary trade-offs prices worth paying for a strong economy and well-funded public services. Well, of course, now we have the data and it's clear that they've lied. Those scientists and engineers we were told about, they only make up 0.6% of visas. Doctors only account for 0.8% of visas. So in total, there are only 5% of migrants in this country, only one in 20 migrants who is a net contributor to this economy as a high-skilled um, uh, wage earner. Yeah. Just think about that. Only one in 20. Mm. And for every one pound that those high-skilled migrants add to the economies, the low-skilled migrant takes out even more. They cost us one pound 60 for every one pound that migration brings into us. And that's even worse mm. when you include their dependents. And we're always told by, by our, our, our leaders, both Tory and Labour and the Lib Dems, oh, well, Britain's stagnant growth. We need, we need immigration to, 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 for economic growth. Mm. And, of course, we've had immigration for years. That's why we have this low economic growth, we now find out. We're also told, what's the problem with Britain's low productivity? Well, now again, we know that. But when I first linked our slow growth and low productivity to low-skilled immigration years ago, I was thought beyond the pale. Mm. No serious person would even consider that. Well, now, unfortunately, we have the evidence out there. And I think, you know, the British people need to understand who was responsible for this. Both Tories and Labour are equally culpable in that. And that's resulted in our cultural, our social and our economic decline. And I think there is no greater act of harm that has been committed on the British people than the mass immigration of the last 25 years. 
It's been far more damaging to Britain even than the cost of fighting the Second World War. We must never forget that and we must never forgive it. Absolutely incredible stuff. Rafe, great to talk to you and a fantastic story that you've uncovered. Rafe Heidel-Mancou, broadcaster and commentator.